Let's uh, do a quick walkthrough how to uh, create an uh, OSE FreeCAD badge. So presumably, of course, you have the right to create one. What you do is you go to the OSE wiki, um, find the page uh, FreeCAD badge, make sure to spell it uh, uppercase. And that brings you to this page. And all the way down, you see uh, an easy way to create this badge. Here are the instructions. The important thing is first, you have to get uh, this file here. It's, a, uh, it's an Inkscape file that is uh, zipped up. So we go into the Archive Manager um, and extract the, the plain SVG file, uh, which actually happens to be uh, an Inkscape file. OK, let's extract this to, let's say, Downloads. And once we got it, we open it up in Inkscape, which is not the default, so you have to look for it. Uh, by the way, I'm working with uh, the beta version of OSE Linux version 2. So your setup obviously might be uh, a bit different. So we here we have the file uh, in Inkscape. Uh, you can press 4, the, the number 4 just to zoom in suitably. Then you have to select the text um, the text tool, either by clicking on this button or just do the little letter T as in text. This switches the cursor and allows you to select the text. Now you see here this uh, thin cursor that, that we can move around. It's a bit hard to see. But if you do it yourself, uh, it should be fairly obvious. So let's uh, go back to the browser because in the instructions, we have basically the, the template text to follow. Copy that, go uh, back to Inkscape. Now I select the text, Control A um, selects the whole text with backspace I delete it and if, and this allows me to uh, paste it in again the the template text so now I just have to modify the year the batch was created and uh, the number you should do uh, leading zeros so let's say if this is batch number 007 and lastly, you put in your name. We can do uh, is or hit escape twice if you want to get out of the, the text tool. And now um, we can export the, the image. Control Shift E gives you the export dialog. Uh, we want to export the drawing, so not the whole page. Uh, so we click on drawing. If it's not already pre-selected, then here we uh, can select uh, the name of the file. Let's go to downloads and say this is the batch file customized or particular person. Um, and now let's see, do an export actually. Let's see if this succeeded. We go to um, the image viewer. Uh, that is the original SVG file that we downloaded. And uh, in case you're wondering why there is no text 
uh, around the badge. Uh, this, I guess, is an edge case uh, uh, for SVG. So, so this viewer uh, doesn't like basically the, the generated Inkscape file. Uh, but for the ping version of the file, uh, we won't have a problem. So the ping version um, should be correct. Generated ping. And here we go. Okay. Looking good.